microclimatic condition in the south of Italy, they're not very good to age cheese, okay? Not like in northern Italy. So mozzarella become a very important cheese for them. It comes from Battipaglia, the era of Sorrento, which is all the area that is in Campania, sort of, like, sort of in this area here. The best mozzarella that I ever tasted, it was actually when I was there. So you eat it and it's still kind of almost warm. And that is incredible, it's the same thing with ricotta. One time, if you ever end up eating ricotta that's just been made hot, well, that will ruin every ricotta that you have ever after. Yeah, you can see it's got a different kind of push, doesn't it? It's got almost a different sort of consistency. It's slightly bit harder. As you can see that it's rolled by hand because you can see it's got little bits of air still inside. It's not completely jump out. You can see this sort of layer of it in there. I think tonight it's been amazing because we learned not only about the regionality and why it's so important to Italian cookery, but also about how important the provenance was and the simplicity, but the complexity of the flavours. Well, I thought I already knew a lot about Italian food, but it was amazing how much I learned tonight. I loved all the history and obviously tasting the difference. So yeah, I mean, I'll be looking for all those ingredients now.